So congratulations to you guys. You really, I feel like you really took off this season. Like you Thank you. Um, as opposed to last? Well, I no, mean, I'm I just seem to be missing it more. Um, we're, listen, we're incredibly lucky to, first of all, we got season two, and now we have season three. The craft service is getting better every single season. Yeah, what do you got on the plate for season three? I, I had a really great conversation with Kevin Williamson yesterday, and um, he's killing Damon in episode, like, three of season three. Mm-hmm. So I'll get a nice vacation. <laughs> um, it's, we're going to get a lot of the, the, the psychological scare parts back. I think a lot of the originals are coming. I think we got over the hump of explaining sort of all the mythology and all the backstory, and now I think we're going to sort of go forward quickly. I have one of the most difficult but most amazing jobs in the world. Yeah? Definitely. What is the most difficult and what is the most difficult? Um, the most difficult is probably the hours that we work. As a vampire, we don't really sleep, or I don't really sleep, especially with the double characters. Um, I don't get a lot of, yeah, a lot of Z's. So now, are you surprised, or I mean, obviously thankful that it's back for its third season? But it seems like the show is getting, yeah, you know, keeps getting more and more popular. It's crazy. Um, every time I feel like there's nothing more that they can do, and the, they, they can't shock me anymore. Somehow the writers find a way to um, to think of these crazy, amazing ideas that keep the viewers and us on our toes. Right. So now, what do you hope? Sort of, where would you love to see your character go next season? Um. I'd love to see Elena kind of grow a backbone, but in a different kind of way, because she's a very strong, you know, empowered woman, but she's been led by the men in her life for the last two seasons, or, or led by love, really, and I think that she needs to... I'd like to see her kind of step out on her own and, and, and see if she can hold her own ground without the crazy vampires threatening to kill her all the time. <laughs> so how has va- how being a vampire affected your uh, dating life outside the cameras? <laughs> Uh, well, you kind of... Girls find it very sexy. What's that? Girls find it very sexy, apparently. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, I think I've been ter- told that once or twice. But it's, uh, you know, listen, again, we're very lucky, but we work every day. And uh, for nine or ten months a year. Uh-huh. So, you don't, you know, you don't need a life if you're on a television show. Because that is your life.